Hey, this right here, it's shawarma. It's one of the most iconic street foods of the Middle East. I'm going to show you how to make it. Hi, I'm Uncle Carl, foodie and world traveler. Come join me as I recreate some of the dishes that I've experienced from around the world. Thank you for joining me on this trip, and welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. Over the years, I've been to the Middle East a handful of times, going through most of the countries, and no matter where I went, I could find good shawarma. It is spicy, it is creamy, it is tangy. Uh, it, it has a really pretty undescribable flavor that you can't really find anywhere else but in this sandwich. I'm going to show you how to make it out of the comfort of your own home. But before I do that, if this is the kind of content you like, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. And if you're interested, I'm doing a giveaway this month. If you watch the end of the video, I'll explain all about it then. First, the ingredients for the chicken four chicken thighs, one tablespoon each of cumin, garlic powder, turmeric cardamom, smoked paprika, sumac, salt, black pepper, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter to one teaspoon of cayenne, one quarter cup olive oil. For the garlic sauce or tum, one and a half cups Greek yogurt, two to four cloves minced garlic, one teaspoon sumac, one teaspoon garlic powder, one quarter to one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, the juice of one lemon, other ingredients you will need is pita bread, tomatoes, cucumbers, and pickles to taste. Start off by putting all the spices for the chicken in a mixing bowl. Stir them together with a fork. Once they're all evenly dispersed, add your olive oil, and then give that a stir until the consistency is even and paste-like. Take the skin off of your chicken thighs. Trim off any excess fat. And then to debone the chicken, Feel where the outline of the bone is, cut along either side, and then underneath it, removing one end, scraping down the bone any excess meat, and then just severing it from where it connects with the rest of the chicken. Put all that bone and chicken skin off to the side. You can use it later for stock if you want to. Once you've taken off the skin, removed all the excess fat, and deboned the chicken, go ahead and put it in with that wet rub you made. Mix it around so all of it is covered and then wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. You could go ahead and cook it right now, but like with most things, it's better with time. I would try to give it no less than four hours, but preferably overnight. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the tum, which is a yogurt-based garlic sauce. And being a garlic sauce, we're gonna go ahead and start with the garlic. Two to four cloves should do you. Give them a crush, then a peel. Start by slicing them up. And then the old Rocky Choppy until you got them into a really small mince and try to get this mince as small as you can get it. Go ahead and add that garlic to the Greek yogurt. Add your sumac, your garlic powder, your cayenne, your salt, and your black pepper. If you don't like things so spicy, tone down the amount of cayenne that you use. I'm using a tablespoon here, but you use the level that you can. As a quick audible, I'm going to go ahead and zest the lemon that I'm gonna juice, just to give it a little extra zing. Then I'm gonna roll the lemon on a board, applying a little pressure. This will help loosen up the juices and then just squeezing it into the bowl. You notice I'm squeezing it through my other hand. I'm using it as a strainer to catch any of the seeds. Give it a quick mix, wrap it up, and then put it in the refrigerator. You wanna to try to let this sit for at least an hour, preferably overnight. And the next day, about a half hour before I'm ready to eat, on a pan with a wire rack, I'm gonna put my chicken thighs. And a quick tip, if you put tin foil underneath, it'll make cleaning the pan way easier. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven, preheated at 500 degrees for about 20 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the rest of my vegetables, slice up some cucumbers. Apparently today I can't slice anything remotely the same size, but it'll be okay. Tomato, slice off the top, use that as a secure base, and then just slice me some tomatoes. Lastly, I'm going to slice up some pickles. I'm doing them in really thin slivers, that way I'm never getting too much pickle in any one bite. And now I just wait until my chicken is done. After being in the oven for about 20 minutes, go ahead and pull them out. Remember that oven's 500 degrees, so it's gonna be hot. You hear that? That's the sound of very happy chicken. And you want them to look something like this, just enough where they're starting to char. Let them rest for a few minutes, and then get to carving them up. Look how juicy that is. Get yourself a piece for quality control. Make sure it's good. Mm. Now to build your wrap. Get yourself a pita bread, take a couple heaping tablespoons of that garlic sauce, and just paint a strip of it down the center. 
Stack up your chicken in the middle of it, and then on top of the chicken, add a layer of cucumbers, followed by a layer of the tomatoes, and then some of those pickle spears on either side. Then fold the bottom over and the sides in, everything overlapping. And there you go. This stuff is really, really good. A lot of big, bold flavor, and it's gonna knock your socks off. Mm -hmm. That was good. See, please let me know if you tried this recipe and how you liked it. And now since you've been patiently waiting, here are the rules for the giveaway. This is Molly. I've had her since my first video and I'm giving her away to one of you. For your chance to win her, just make sure you subscribe to the page, like this video, comment on it, and share it. And then next month, I will pick my favorite comment, and whoever that is, I will send Molly to you.